My name's Bill and I'm an alcoholic. And this show is called Good Morning. If you think giving up drinking is about drinking non-alcoholic beer or wine, well, that's not been my experience. In fact, drinking non-alcoholic drinks goes against everything that my sobriety stands for. Recovery has been and is about having nothing to do with alcohol whatsoever. And this includes walking down the aisles of supermarkets where drink is sold. There is, however, one rule of thumb I follow, and it's this. I only go where alcohol is, or it's been served, or it's been drunk, as long as I've got a good reason to be there. I may be having a meal in a pub or a restaurant, or I may be going to a function, maybe a wedding or a christening. I may be going around to one of my children's homes for a birthday party. But in general, my life today is guided and it's moulded by avoiding any contact with alcohol whatsoever. I don't eat food with alcohol in. And it's irrelevant to me that the alcohol may or may not have been cooked off in the cooking. I try and drink out of cups wherever possible and not glasses. I pour my own drink at parties so people don't slip a bit of whiskey or gin in and say, come on, cheer up. Come on, have a good time and enjoy yourself. Because that's what I used to do to other people. I don't put my drinks down, so I don't pick up the wrong drink afterwards. I always smell a drink before I drink it. And today I choose what I drink. And when people give me what they call special bottles, when they go to a party and they say, oh, we've got you something special here, it's got no alcohol in, I say to them quite politely, just put it down with everything else. Because today I have a choice about what I drink. And that's the biggest choice I've ever had in my life. I definitely don't drink any grape juice or apple juice for obvious reasons. Because that's what they make cider and wine out of. Never have taken any in all my years of sobriety. Because that's what I was told not to do. It may be only small But it's taking those small actions is where I value my sobriety today. Life for a sober alcoholic is about taking a lot of non-alcoholic actions. It's crammed with doing things and it's crammed with not doing things. Because life completely changes in recovery where I try and do things that will keep me sober. Things like I like, I try and slow down a little. I tidy up after me. I try and do one thing at a time. Where I put my day into 20 minute little boxes and I open one box and do one task and then shut that and then open the next little box. These and many more are what go to, go towards making an unmanageable life a little bit more manageable. I let people out in the morning even though I don't have to on my way to work. Occasionally I might give up my place in the supermarket and I always leave 20-30 minutes early for any appointment or any meeting so if I get held up on the way I'm not late. Because being late to an alcoholic could mean frustration, resentment and anger and ultimately picking up a drink. I've learnt to say no as a complete sentence. And I walk out of anywhere if I feel uncomfortable. Because my life depends on not what, not what you think about me. It's what I think about me and protecting my recovery is the most important thing I can do to this day. 
numerous little things, too many to list here, are what makes my life a sober life. In AA meetings, I always try and thank the speaker. I don't take all the service positions. I help when needed. And I try and be respectful of others. And that respect goes a little bit further because I try and have respect for my disease, for the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous, for my alcoholism, for my sponsor, for my home group, and ultimately for myself. Because I, I will take actions for people and things that I respect that I wouldn't take actions for otherwise. I don't hand out numbers, te people's telephone numbers without their permission. And I always dress up and dress not dress down. Because I was told, told that always dress a little bit better than the person you're trying to help probably won't do them any good whatsoever, but it'll make you feel better about yourself. And that's the end result of all the 12-step recovery program, is where I feel better about myself. And if I feel better about myself, then I'm less likely to drink. Those are just a few of the unwritten tools I live my life by today. There are a thousand and one invisible actions and thoughts and deeds that go, go on behind the scenes in the life of every alcoholic in recovery. And they all add up to just one more day of living sober. And one little action shared with someone we don't know, with someone we've probably never met before, with someone that we'll probably only meet once in our lives, can and does save lives. And that's to quietly say two words to them, two words that will no doubt brighten their lives and probably make my life a little bit better. But will definitely make a sober life a little bit more spiritually rewarding. And that's to go up to someone in the meeting someone you don't know, and quietly say to them, good morning. Try it, because it works if you work it. Build the shirt, Bristol. <laughs>